Peter Abayomi is a fisherman from Nigeria who lived in Gabon since the 1970s. Aboard his canoe, he tells the story of foreign fishermen, mainly from Nigeria and Benin, living in Gabon. In the Great Dustbin, named after an old landfill, nearly 3,000 people live in houses built of wood and mud in mushy areas. In Libreville, as in Port Gentil, the economic capital, these fishermen are facing mass evictions. It's a shame we don't know what saying to devote ourselves to. We say to ourselves that we're left to fend for ourselves because we've called the whole administration linked to the fishery sector to try to intervene. But so far, there has been no favorable follow-up. Foreign fishermen are an important link in Gabon's fishing economy as they catch two-thirds of fishes along Gabon's coast. And industry players attest to their contribution to the Gabonese economy. La philosophie the philosophy behind their move to Gabon has changed. They no longer hold this perspective. Let me say that there are indeed many, considering the fact that they are not Gabonese nationals. However, they are now a part of the local economic fabric and they must be allowed to continue to play their part. World Conservation Society, an NGO which works with foreign artisanal fishermen, believes that the solution would be to build sustainable habitation. This could enable Peter and his friends to finally live in better conditions.